So this is the unboxing and review of the Brown Cam Split. Sorry for the shaking. So what you get out of the box. I've actually had some experience. I have this mounted in another one of my quads. It works really well. I like it. The only issue is if I plug it into uh, the 5 volt and the battery gets really low, it'll drop a little below 5 volts, I think, and it'll shut off and it'll be in mid flight, it'll shut off. So this time I'm just gonna put a capacitor in so it helps smooth out the uh, battery signal and I will connect it directly onto the battery since it, it'll handle the battery voltage. I'm just running uh, 4S. But here is you do have to solder it in I would prefer if they just had like a nice little JST plug or something like that, but it's not that big a deal. I think it's just cleaner. If you don't have to solder it, then you unplug it and it looks exactly like it did before you bought it. This is the Wi-Fi dongle. I have it connected in with my Tyrannus so that it's got three switches to control the camera. It's pretty easy in Betaflight now because all you do is just pick out which UART you're connected to and then you go to the peripheral and pull it down to be run cam. So it's already set up and then once you have the run cam you can set it for power button, Wi-Fi button, and then another select button so you could go through the menu on screen. But these are the cables that you get with it. Power it through the USB. I don't power it through the USB, although I have seen some reviews that say it has a little bit cleaner signal but I'm just gonna clean mine up with a capacitor it has plastic hardware which I'm not a huge fan of because it always breaks if there's anything that's gonna break first it's gonna be this plastic hardware and I do like that it has a lot of screws O rings and different mounting options so doesn't matter which kind of frame you have this is an important piece make sure that when it's installed like this if you don't have this on here then the SD card will pop out Although it is kind of a pain and it scratches the SD card if you're not careful. So what I found is, it's just like a normal SD card. You push it in and it locks in. And to get it out, what you do is you push it in again and it unlocks it. And then you just take a pen and you push up on this and it'll shoot out. So you just aim it at something soft like a seat and then 
push that thing, it'll pop right out. That's the best way to get it out. The microphone sounds terrible. It sounds like it's completely overdriven. So I've actually tried to take some of the foam from the packaging and put it over top of the other microphone. And that didn't work so well. I think what I'm going to do is on this one, I've got like a, a little battery pad that's left over and it's really dense with a sticky on the bottom. I'm just gonna cut a little piece and then put it over that and hopefully it'll muffle it down where it won't sound terrible. It looks like it's got a con, a conformal coating. Eh, maybe not, but I am going to actually waterproof it. It's a great camera. If you want to take it out, take the ribbon cable. You just pop that open. I've noticed that uh, this reveal on this fabric wrap that they have, which I really like because it toughens it up, is not square with the end. So it makes it seem like it's in crooked, but it's really not. It's pretty tight fit, and as long as you have it pushed flat against the bottom, it should lock in and work properly. But I wouldn't recommend mounting it any way that has tension on that. I've seen uh, some people have problems. I think they had tension and every time it bumped into something, it jiggled. So they would lose camera. But to get rid of all that weight compared to even a GoPro sessions, it's pretty incredible because you're already putting a camera on your quad and then you've just got however many more grams I think it let's see yeah, I don't know how many grams this is I think it's like uh, 17 17 grams so you've already got a camera anyway so plus another 17 grams instead of whatever your get GoPro is so or your HD camera setup and I did use this so, you solder this on, and that way you can get your signal. Ground here. All right, let's see. Video, audio. Where's power? Oh, okay, so we got power ground and video.